In this video, we are going to look for UV visible and infrared data for a given substance in Reaxis. In this example, we will be looking for features of the two most common absorption spectroscopy methods for Taxol, a cancer drug. How to find a UV vis spectra in the literature. How to find maximum absorbance and molar extinction coefficient to solve the Beer-Lambert equation. And how to find Taxol's infrared spectra and its characteristics. How to find a UV vis spectra in the literature. To do so, we enter the property name and substance name into search reaxis, selecting the appropriate suggested terms if available. Notice our reaxis identifies Taxol as a chemical name. Then we click Find to obtain the results. The results preview displays several options, depending on how reaxis interpreted the query. Reaxis identified Taxol as a substance and searched for its structure. It identified UV visible as a property. We will select the substance results set and click on view results. The results page contains the structures of three identified substances. We will select the first one and click on the hit data for our queries. We can see that for the first article, the spectra is in the supporting information. We click the full text link and we are redirected to the article of interest. In the supplementary materials, we find a UV visible spectra for Taxol. Now we will learn how to find max absorbance and molar extinction coefficient to solve the Beer-Lambert equation. The Beer-Lambert equation relates to concentration of a substance in a sample with its maximum absorbance by means of the molar extinction coefficient. Within the hit data table, we click on show hide columns and select the relevant field. The table will be updated displaying excerpted data points for the maximum absorbance and molar extinction coefficient published in the literature. In this case, for different solvents such as tetrahydrofuran and chloroform. Now we will learn how to find Taxol's infrared spectra and learn about its characteristics. We return to the substance results and select the spectra information tab. Here we see all available spectroscopic information. We select infrared spectroscopy and click on show relevant fields. The table will be updated returning excerpted data from literature. In this case, an excerpt from the literature describing spectra features and four relevant bands. Please note that the description referred to Taxol as Paclitaxol an alternative name for the substance. Synonyms can be found in the Substance Identification tab under Chemical Names. If you want to understand how Reaxis interpreted a quick search query, you can always return to the result set and review the search strategy in Edit in Query Builder. We will focus on the document result set to learn more about synonyms and index terms. By clicking on Edit in Query Builder, we can see how Reaxis automatically included Paclitaxel in the titles, abstracts, and keyword search, as well as many different combinations of UV visible spectroscopy terms. You can always broaden or narrow the search. In summary, to find property information for a substance, enter the property name and a substance name in Quick Search. To find the relevant data, show desired fields in the hit table. Remember that available fields will vary depending on the property type searched for. Additional spectroscopy data points can be found for a substance under the Spectra Information tab. If the substance name is in the Reaxis Dictionary of Chemical Names, the Identification tab will contain the main synonyms indexed in Reaxis under Chemical Names. Thanks for watching.